Okay. How are you guys doing? I'm back. Kinda. Um, just kind of thought I would make this video to just kind of use it as more like a filler. Um, I didn't want to go the whole winter without uploading anything. So, uh, I do have a couple of quick updates for you guys, though. Um, just so you know that, you know, there's nothing going on in the background. There actually is. Uh, so, you guys have already seen that I got the Mishimoto radiator ordered and delivered. So, that'll be coming for spring. Uh, I also ordered um, a new set of LED fog lights to complete the LED conversion on the front end. Um, before I go into anything else though, I do got to say one quick thing. After I installed the uh, LED marker lights, I did discover something. My fog lights, after putting, I'm thinking it's the relay is what the issue is. I haven't been able to test it because I parked the car for the winter already. Uh, back for back around Christmas time, but I've managed to figure out that when so the headlights worked normally, you know, brights whatever with the the switch, uh, light switch, blinker switch on the left side of the stock, whatever. Um, when you'd go to push the fog lights, the fog lights would not turn on. Instead, it would perma bright the headlights. You, you know, it would be bright all the time. You couldn't uh, turn them off or do anything. <clears throat> One thing you could do is turn the headlights off and then back on, and they'd still be bright. But, um, so yeah, I'm going to have to hopefully get that addressed. I'm really hoping that putting in the new LED fog lights fixes that, since the fog lights now are the only thing left on the front end that's incandescent. So I'm hoping that fixes it, and I guess whenever I get those, I'll make a video on that, show you guys, and I'll let you know if they uh, if they work, or if that works in fixing it. If not, I'm gonna have to track down a wiring, something for wiring, and probably put a resistor in somewhere, which is the absolute last thing I wanted to do. But if it's got to be done, it's got to be done. Um, real quick though. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I did become a new member in a Mark III A70 group called A70 Mafia. Uh, I'm going to leave the links for all their stuff down below, so if you guys feel free, check them out. Um, I'm really excited about this group. It's vast majority of people, um, wide range, you know, between... I think pretty much every we have at least one person in each of the 50 states, a uh, few people that are up in Canada, and I'm not too sure about anywhere else for sure, but they when they added me, they did say they are worldwide with, so I don't know if there's a couple of members, you know, that are down in another, they're over in another country somewhere, but um, it is a pretty diverse group right now. There's probably 120-ish people in it right now. Um, they're working on merch. They're getting all that stuff set up. I'm um, going to be doing a meet or so down in Georgia probably next spring. Not spring of 22, but probably do something for 23. Um, I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that I can do go to that, meet some of their people, and I'll videotape for you guys uh, and kind of show you kind of what the group is about. Um, but I'm really excited about that. It's actually opening up a lot of opportunities for me, and I'm really excited to not only have more opportunities to grow as a person, as grow or grow the channel, but to also have more like minded people around me that are into some of the same things that I'm into. Around here, that's pretty rare. So the fact that I'm now in a group with a whole bunch of them, from, that's just from a whole bunch of other states, I, I couldn't be more thrilled, honestly. 
It's, it's a good opportunity, and I'm going to do my best to take full advantage of it. So, uh, I really don't can't think of anything else to talk about here at the moment. Uh, I know this was kind of a short update video, but trust me, I will have hopefully something coming here pretty quick. Um, as far as another video. Uh, what it will be exactly, I have no idea. It's winter. It sucks outside. Today was 50. Really not turning out to be that bad of a winter, to be honest. I probably could have kept the Supra here and just let the daily sit outside in the parking lot. But I didn't want to have to scrape windows. I didn't know how bad it was going to be, when we were going to get snow, if we were going to get snow, how much, how much snow we were going to get, if it was going to be... More ice, less snow, more snow, less ice. Yeah, you, just, you can never predict these things. So, uh, I played it by year and I played it poorly. So, car has been parked till it gets probably up in the 50s for highs consistently again. So, I'm hoping for mid March, early March. Uh, I would love it to be like end of February. But, anyway. That's going to do it for this update video, guys. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below. I'm just getting started. I know you've probably heard a lot of other YouTubers say 2022 is going to be a great year. Um, I'm not going to say that because I don't want to jinx myself. But I'm going to do my best to, like I said earlier, to make the most of it. And I'm bringing you guys on the... On the uh, and I'm bringing you guys along for the ride with me, so stay tuned. You know, as always, guys, that'll do it for me. See you in the next one.